for everyone that leaves comments saying that my dog is obese. She's been on prescription diet food for like four years. Morning, welcome back to another vlog. I am currently on a curve. The freeway, that's why I don't like, probably doesn't look like it on camera, but in person I'm like, we're just passing downtown and we're heading to Pasadena to go to the Rose Bowl flea market this morning. Just finished my makeup in the car. We're actually meeting our friends Josh and Noel. They're the best. So we're going to meet up with them because they've always been wanting to go to the Rose Bowl flea market. And Drew and I have been together once. And then I've been like, I want to say three or four times. So this might be my fourth or fifth time going. Oh, also, oh my God. I need to do a quick update on my nails. So I got my nails done. In the last vlog, that was like one of the last things you saw. <laughs> Drew's laughing because it wasn't the best experience. Like, it's fine, you know, you, you, when you move, you go through experimentation processes, like where you try new places and whatever. So I tried this place and it wasn't, it was a bad experience, whatever. So fine, got home. I was like, my nails are cute, who cares? Woke up the next morning or was it that night? That was the morning in the morning and I was talking to Drew about the nail salon and I was like laughing about how it wasn't that great and I looked down at my nails and one whole gel like in a whole full piece just came off of my nail like my nail was naked and Drew was dying <laughs> he was laughing so hard and I was just well, cause you were so confused the entire, what was funny was that you were talking about your experience of the nail place <laughs> right then and there and then you were just like I looked down and I was like oh! and then another one was like halfway peeled off too so I ended up just ripping them all off and literally they all came off like just like like it, as if I had put Elmer's glue on my nails or something and it just came off in one whole piece it was unbelievable so whatever I have since used regular nail polish and it actually matches my dress which I wasn't planning on so yeah now I have to find another nail place but it's all good another thing was I don't remember if this it was in the last vlog or the vlog before that. I think it was the one before that where we went to the Melrose Trading Post which is every Sunday and like right after we were there I was watching some vlogs from other people who were there right after we were there we missed Benifer Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez were there and apparently there was like paparazzi all lining up and down the gate and stuff and we missed it anyway all right let's roll the bullet up First we're at this booth that has like a lot of denim and t-shirts and Drew was obsessed with this shirt. It's a Marvin the Martian shirt, but it's too small. And also it's like really kind of dirty. It's like a size small and he's more of like a large, but he really wants this sad day. Cause they're oversized. <laughs> I love it. Drew's carrying the torch with the mountain shirts. I used to wear them like so much in like 2018, 2019. I think you should get it. Not gonna lie, it's been about an hour and a half and uh, I'm sweating profusely. I bailed <laughs> on any filming at all whatsoever because it's miserable. We've had a couple of tall boys. By a couple, I mean we've all had one each. And now we're heading over. We've made an entire full loop. We're still here, we're surviving. We're not thriving, but we are surviving. Good morning everyone. It's actually the next day. Um, yeah, I'm in Drew's car again. I've been in Drew's car for like the last week because we park tandem now. So whoever's car is in the back is whose car we take. I'm headed out this morning. It's about just before 9 a.m. and I'm going to meet my friend Lyra. We're gonna go have a nice little walk and chat with her baby Otis. Lyra is one of my closest friends from high school and she's lived out in LA now for probably five years or so. And I just love, 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 love 
being in LA and having all of my hometown friends here. Like, it's kind of funny how that works out. For those of you who have watched me for a while, you've probably heard me mention this a million times, so sorry. But if you're new here, yeah, I am. I went to high school in Nashville and somehow like four of my close friends from growing up live out here in LA and it's really fun. So I'm heading out to meet her. We are going to get some Erewhon, I think. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna like meet her at her place. We're gonna walk to Erewhon. I have Postmated Erewhon before and it's freaking delicious. Like I got a breakfast burrito and like the Hailey Bieber smoothie and like they both slapped. So I kind of get the hype, <laughs> but I've never been inside Erewhon. So that'll be fun and interesting. But yeah, the heat took it absolutely out of us yesterday. We were dead, like so dead. We came home from the flea market. We were so dehydrated and overheated. So we were like, yeah, let's just stay home, drink some liquid IV, recover, rest. So we did that. But anyways, so that's um, that's it. <laughs> that's all I have to update you on. I'm headed to my friends. After a much needed resting, relaxing Sunday, we like did all of our dishes, did all of our laundry, grocery shopped, you know, planned for the week ahead. And now here we are, Monday morning. And that is a lot of traffic that I am happy I am not sitting in right now. <laughs> I just have to take one more second. I'm sorry, I'm chatting for too long, but I have to take one more second to just say how grateful I am for you, whoever is watching this. I'm so grateful for you and the fact that like you support me and give me the opportunity to be able to do this job. I'm just so freaking grateful. Like I'm living my dream life right now and it's because of you all. So I really sincerely appreciate you and I'm just sending you so much love and a big hug and so, so much gratitude for you. Oh my God. I'm on my period so I could cry, but anyways. Okay, chat soon. do some filming it's about actually i don't have my phone in here i think it's like 1 30. i got home maybe a half an hour ago just took Lil on a nice walk i also spilled water on my shirt i'm gonna throw some makeup on that seems to be like when i turn on the camera in here <laughs> but i'm gonna throw some makeup on and film some main channel videos my thoughts on air one were that it's really good i felt the same way when i post made it like it's definitely worth the hype it's just pretty freaking expensive but yeah it was delish not gonna lie though i didn't try anything new i got the same breakfast burrito that i post made last week and the hailey bieber smoothie and it was delicious so now here we are back home i'm gonna film i think two main channel videos i'm gonna see how much i can get done i really do try to have like the afternoons off work so that drew and i can do like our nighttime routine together so we'll see what ends up happening with that but yeah i will catch up with you when i'm ready and it's time to film Okay, well, not my best angle, but if you can hear the construction going on next door, I do apologize. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I did thrift a pair of linen. <laughs> Hello. I did thrift a pair of linen pants recently, and I would love to wear those, but also the first video that I'm filming isn't that long, so it doesn't really matter what I wear because I'm going to take it off in 10 seconds, but... Uh, trying on clothing and like putting on outfits for filming is very stressful for me for some reason. I just getting dressed in general, uh, like ADHD problems. I have this new vest situation. She's pretty cute. I might, I might bust her out. Okay, so like this with maybe a white pant would be really cute. Something like this. And then I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. I totally forgot I got this Abercrombie set. It's like a matching halter top and like linen pants. Yeah, this is gonna be cute. Okay, here are my two fits. Okay, thanks so much for helping me figure that out. <laughs> Loved your input. So I'm gonna get changed and then figure out the accessory situation. I'm trying to keep it down because Drew is in another meeting. So now I just need to get dressed. See what I did there? And then we can accessorize a little bit. I'm thinking some earrings for sure. These gold ones remind me of like the hoops that my mom would wear in the 90s. These kind of like croissant hoops, so, so cute. So we're definitely gonna go with these. I'm not like a massive, you know, 
wear a ton of jewelry type of person so i like to keep it pretty simple and i have a high neck for this crop top so i don't really need a necklace maybe a couple bracelets sure we'll do a couple of these oh my god these bracelets are so hard to get on though because putting a bracelet on yourself kind of a nightmare mm, no never mind change my mind <laughs> okay I think we're pretty much ready, so we're gonna film the first video. This one's quick, it's kind of just like an intro for another video, and then we will change and do the second one. This is very like monochromatic, it feels, with my hair, but we'll, we'll roll with it. I'm pretty sure I just said this, but in case you're wondering, this set is from Abercrombie. These pants are a little bit big, like I probably could have sized down in them, but I sort of like that they're oversized. Although this is a little bit too big as well. And yes, you can still see my sunburn going strong. So I don't know, but they still have the tags on them. So I may end up returning, although the window might've passed because again, I've had these since like March. I don't know, we'll see. I just look like, you know, a giant apricot today and I'm fine with that. So let's get filming. All right, we have since changed into outfit number two. Hey, Moo is in the window with me filming today. <laughs> As per usual, wherever the sun is, is where you will find Moo, and he's very happy. So okay, we're gonna film video number two, and then we'll be back. Just finished filming, and I am going to change and get into something very comfortable. I'm gonna close up all the blinds, because my neighborhood in the afternoon is quite poppin'. It's not that bothered. It's literally just like, there's people out and about, walking their dogs, driving around. And this room gets very, very hot. So we're gonna close up shop. I'm gonna take everything out of my camera. So my memory card that I used today. I'm gonna make sure to import this footage. And then I will also charge the battery that I used. In she goes. I'm not gonna lie, I will not be cleaning up in here. Um, I am tired. I've been going since about seven this morning. I've been working, like doing emails, making calls. Then I went out, I walked for like two and a half miles in the hot sun, and then I came home and filmed, and I'm tired. So it's like almost four o'clock. I'm gonna change into my pajamas, which is the best freaking part of the day. I'm about to revert back to my final form, as Drew calls it, or like evolve into my final form. My final form is me in my pajamas, living my absolute best life. And not just any pajamas. They need to be like the grubby ones. The shirt that you've like kept for way too long. The pajama pants that like maybe have holes in them. Those are the best kind. That is more like it, people. I'm excited. And I totally forgot to mention, this is how unhinged I am. I totally forgot to mention the fact that I just casually, like right before I put my makeup on, cut my own hair, like with kitchen scissors. <laughs> like I cut like an inch and a half off my own hair. Oops, um, I don't have a hairstylist out here yet and my ends were just looking a little straggly, so <laughs> random. I just do that from time to time, but it looks kind of cute. No one would probably notice, but just in case, you know, when I started out the vlog, <laughs> my hair looked one way, now it looks another and like I just didn't even address it. Getting out Layla's food right now, but yeah, maybe I did cut my own hair. It's just where I'm at in life right now. Layla, you hungry? When Layla got her teeth pulled a couple of months ago, um, they suggested soaking her food so that um, it was like nice and soft. And she has like never loved food this much. And in case you saw the beginning of this vlog, she is on like prescription diet food. So anything to get her to like enjoy it more, which she does, but you know, she's just really, really loves it when it's wet. So that's what we do. <laughs> we soak her food. Now she eats wet food. But uh, okay, I think I feel my introvertness kicking in. I definitely need to just chill for the remainder of the evening. I can feel myself shutting off. So the only person I can be with right now is Drew. Love ya, mean it, but I gotta go. So thank you so much for being here and for watching and for hanging out with me in a couple days in my life. I have a pretty busy week ahead of me, so more vlogs to come. I also think I'm gonna do a little bit of like a catch up Q&A in the next vlog. So make sure you are on the lookout for that. And make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see when I like post when I'm looking for questions for Q&A's but yeah love you so much and I will see you very soon bye